Tucker's ready. There's the snap. Spot down. Kick on the way. It is up and it is off the crossbar and through. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? This is it. The pinnacle of human achievement. A kicker hitting a now NFL record 66-yard field goal. Savor this moment, for it will never happen again. Well, the Lions losing in heartbreaking fashion will happen again. I'm talking about the kick. This huge boot took down a mark that stood for eight years. However, this one will stand forever, and I have math and science to back that up. All that's coming up right after this. Finding a good shirt is like finding a girlfriend. You want to feel comfortable, have something built to last, and it has to be the right fit. Well, extended metaphors aside for you young people, let's make finding a shirt much easier and much, much more affordable. Cuts has designed premium men's apparel that just like you is confident, sophisticated, and functional. These high quality shirts will never let you down. Made from buttery, soft, breathable fabric, you can wear these shirts anywhere. And most shirts only last two to three washes, but these are made to last. My advice, buy nice or buy twice. And the great thing with Cuts is, they have so many timeless styles and fits, you'll never get bored. So after this video, head on over to CutsClothing.com and use my code 5 points for a 15% discount. Again, that's CutsClothing.com from the link below and use my code 5 points for 15% off. Cuts for the sport of business. Before we can understand how this record will not be broken, we have to break down how it was set. Justin Tucker lines up for the opportunity of a lifetime, and when the ball is snapped, he takes a tiny crow hop to help his forward momentum. He lines up on the ball perfectly. His entire momentum is going into the kick. His right leg extended to the max and locked in. The ball travels 66 yards in 3.83 seconds. That's 35 miles an hour at an estimated launch angle of about 29 degrees. It hits the front of the crossbar and fortuitously continues on into NFL history. There it is. Six feet further than the previous record. Perfection that will never be replicated. Now we'll break down why all those numbers I just said are so important with a little help from a video by Mark Rober. Let's look at the probabilities of why the record won't be broken, then we'll get into the science. Instead of looking at made field goals from the past, let's look at the longest attempts in history. Spoiler alert, they all end badly. This one to me is amazing, Sebastian Janikowski attempting a 76 yarder. This one didn't even make the goal line. Oh, here's another one by former record holder Matt Prater that happens moments before Tucker broke his very own record. Real quick, can we all laugh in Jaguar right now? Here's the math. More kicks over 50 plus yards are being made than ever before. In fact, 106 of them were hit in 2020. The problem with that, NFL kickers miss from over 50 yards, 37% of the time. Would you get on a plane that crashes that much or root for a team that only wins that much? Sorry, Jets fans. Last year's longest field goal, 61 yards by Jason Myers. Guess what? That was the only one hit over 60 yards. The point is coaches don't really trust their kickers over 50 yards and with good reason. And 60 yard kicks, they are rare, really rare. Only 10 were attempted last season, three of those over 65. That's only 0.33% of all 915 field goal attempts that were even tried in 2020. And not one of those over 65 hit. And as we saw earlier, the consequences of missing a field goal that long are dire. You either give up a TD or the ball in your own territory. Maybe you get lucky with a bad return. Newsflash, the field goal unit comprises fat guys who can't tackle. That's what makes Tucker's kick so unique. Circumstance. It happened at the end of the game while the Ravens were trailing. So missing it didn't matter as time would have expired anyways. 
The Ravens were desperate, and only necessity would even allow a coach to try that kick. More importantly, it was Justin Tucker. Most kickers in the league don't have a career long of over 60, and few are as trusted as Legatron. You're not going to even attempt that kick with Young Wei Koo or that kicker who named himself the Money Badger. That guy kind of sucks. So mathematically, just attempting the 66 yarder was extremely rare. Man, nothing is going to change that. Now, let's look at the physical limitations any would-be record breaker would face. Earlier, I mentioned a video by Mark Rober that was going to help us break this down. Ironically, it features the previous record holder, Matt Prater, in which they use a machine to kick field goals really far. In the vid, Prater keeps moving back further and further and actually hits a 65 yarder. It's also ironic that it was filmed in Detroit, but then they move back to a 70 yard attempt. And even with no crowd, no snap, a perfect hold, etc., he can't hit a single one of them. It appears there seems to be a physical boundary. This video by Wired, though it's about baseball, talks about the physical limitations that a baseball player has when approaching the record for fastest pitch. There are more injuries, and part of the problem is that more pitchers are throwing at top velocity and constantly throwing at top velocity, and the body can only take so much. And they conclude that it's physically impossible to throw a 110 mile an hour fastball. The same applies to kickers. There is a physical limitation to how far a kicker can kick, and it's not just striking the sweet spot on the ball nor the launch angle. It's the ligaments in the leg. Yes, I said ligma. Need more evidence? Here's Justin Tucker himself missing a 67 yarder in the Pro Bowl. Let's go back to launch angle because this is actually really important. In Mark Rober's video, he states the ideal launch angle for a kick is 40 degrees. But by my estimation, using markers on the field as a guide, Tucker's kick goes off at around 28 to 30 degrees. That's much lower than 40, obviously, but it's a testament to how freakish this one kick is. Usually low launch angles on long attempts go into the line or get blocked, but you can see that Detroit got their hands up well to the side of the kick and wisely didn't send anyone in to try and block it. Dan Campbell was convinced, like everyone else, that there was no freaking way this kick was going through. Should have stopped that fourth and 19, Dan. And let's circle back to something crucial we saw at the beginning of the video. The kick hits the freaking crossbar. Out of all the things to go right, this one is the most crucial. Tucker had to extend his leg through the ball perfectly hit the ball at the perfect place two inches above the ground, then get the launch angle just right so it didn't hit a blocker or his own line, but high enough to get there, and after every obstacle in the kicker's ninja warrior course, the ball hits the front of the crossbar and bounces over. Only one part of this is repeatable, Tucker's kicking motion, but the luck part, the sheer audacity to even try the kick, and then have it literally travel the minimum distance to even be a 66 yard field goal and not doink a la Cody Parkey. Well, that means that the football gods absolutely love Justin Tucker and really hate the Lions. Before we wrap it up, let me address the naysayers who are loosening up their wrists to type in the comment section. You might say one day they will attempt it in the wind or in Denver, etc. Long field goal attempts happen all the time. Possibly, but indoors in a controlled environment is the ideal scenario. Adding wind, even if it's aiding the kick, could cause the ball to move left or right and more variables that might not help a kicker. But what about the fair catch kick, says the football equivalent of foolish baseball? Let me explain this weird rule to you. On a punt or a kickoff, a player can call for a fair catch and the team that catches it can attempt a field goal from the spot of that catch. Yes, this is an actual rule. Even better, that kick can come off a tee and the kicker can get a running start without a chance of it being blocked. Okay, sounds good, except these are rare. Only 26 have ever happened. The last in 2019 and Joey Sly missed a free 60 yarder. Phil Dawson tried one in 2013 from 71 and missed badly. Plus these are just like a kickoff or field goal. They can be returned. So, no. 
Now, a real football nerd might bring up the 69-yard field goal nice in 1976 by Abilene Christian's Ove Johansson. Well, he was wind-aided, was allowed to use a kicking block, and it's rumored that the ball may have been filled with helium, as back then kickers could have their own special balls. And thanks to Tom Brady, none of those shenanigans are ever happening again. So in conclusion, appreciate Justin Tucker's magical kick. It had everything go right, and it still barely made it through. So until they allow robot kicking machines, this record will stand forever. Sorry, Lions fans. Tucker's ready. Hit it. There's the snap. Spot down. Go, Kick baby, on the way. Go. It is up and it is off the crossbar and through. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you live under a rock and have never heard of Mark Rover, please go check him out. Easily one of my favorite YouTubers. Definitely one of the all-time greats. I'm Five Points Vids, and you made it to my next video. And my next video is not Justin Tucker's record will surely be broken. I really believe that it won't. Peace.